Mmm. Coffee. General elixir of life, innocuous food product, and friend. Surely there's nothing scary about coffee. Or is there? Well, it's been getting around recently that there are some herbicides that are apparently safer than coffee. That's according to memes like this, and there's plenty of them around on the internet. I'm sure you've seen them before. And they're leading to some false assumptions by people. Now, memes like this go out of their way to rank the toxicity of various chemicals, and they use things like table salt, caffeine, and then they cleverly draw a cup of coffee next to caffeine, so you think that caffeine and coffee is the same thing. We'll go into why it's not. And then they throw in some brand name herbicides and they make you think that they're actually safer than these well-loved food products. All that is based on a misunderstanding and a misinterpretation of the toxicity test for chemicals called the LD50. Sounds scientific, doesn't it? Well, the LD50 is a test that's been around since 1927 and it's based on how much dose you have to give a population of test animals before 50% of them are dead. Now let's make ourselves a coffee and go into what the LD50 test actually is and how it's conducted. So this is Honey the Wonder Dog and together we're going to describe to you how the LD50 test works. Now if I want to register a chemical for sale, I have to know whether it's extremely toxic or only very slightly toxic or somewhere in between. So what I basically do is I get about 60 animals like honey here and I give them a measured dose of the chemical. Now to give them a measured dose of the chemical, I need to make sure that I bypass their gag reflex. They can't spit it out or do anything silly like that. Hey? So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use one of these. Now, yes, that's right, it goes down your throat. And basically this bypasses all of the gag reflex and everything and leads straight to the stomach. So once this is inserted in honey, all I have to do is pour my goop that I'm testing, it's food dye today by the way, down the throat of the animal bypassing the gag reflex. Now I have a reliable measured dose sent directly to her tummy. What do I do now? Well now we wait. If she's received enough of that poison to kill her, we record her as a death. If she hasn't received enough of that poison to kill her, she might be really sick, but we record her as living. We then keep repeating this experiment on different populations of animals until we reach a dose rate that kills at least 50% of them within two weeks. Now we're not measuring things like cancer, long-term morbidity, other gastrointestinal diseases or anything like that. All we're checking to see is if have we given enough for 50% of the dogs, rats or mice to die. That's the LD50. That's what we need to register a chemical. So when someone tells you that coffee is more toxic than a herbicide like glyphosate, they're basing it on this test. They're not basing it on whether it's good for you, whether it's going to cause cancer. They're simply saying, will it kill 50% of the animals in the population at that dose within two weeks? And yes, Caffeine, not coffee, but caffeine, one of the small ingredients of coffee, is more toxic in that 14 days than glyphosate. Does that mean that glyphosate's safer? I'll let you be the judge. What do you think, honey? Right, so what's the problem with using this LD50 to say that coffee is actually more toxic than herbicides containing glyphosate? And there's lots of them. I'm not picking on any particular brand. No sticky tape. I don't care what brand it is. There's a problem. You would have to drink so little caffeine in a cup of coffee that you would have to drink 118 8 ounce cups to receive a lethal dose of coffee. Ridiculous. In fact, the amount of water in 118 cups of coffee is more likely to kill you first because the LD50 of water is 6 litres and 118 of these 8 ounce cups is about uh, 28 litres of water. So you'd be more likely to die from the water in the beverage than the caffeine in the beverage. It's in that small an amount. Secondly, equally ridiculous, it would be very difficult 
to drink the one and a half odd litres required of this glyphosate herbicide to kill you in one dose, you'd probably throw up on the floor first. But here's the problem. It's come to my recent attention that there's been an agriculture teacher going around who has actually drunk dilute solutions of herbicide in his class to demonstrate his point that herbicide is less toxic than coffee. Now that is based on what I believe almost a criminal lack of understanding of basic science. So take it from honey and meat. Don't play around with chemicals. They're just not things that you want to muck around with. Make sure you wear your safety equipment, treat all chemicals with respect, and just because something's got low toxicity doesn't mean it's been tested for everything that can kill you. What do you reckon? Time for dinner? See you later, guys.